गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद द मॉड्यूल वन दैट इज द सेकंड हाफ ऑफ द मॉड्यूल वन ट्रांसड्यूसर्स एंड सेंसर्स इन द लास्ट सेशन वी सॉ द वेरियस डेफिनेशंस एंड मीनिंग ऑफ द ट्रांसड्यूसर्स एंड टुडे वी विल सी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ट्रांसड्यूसर्स देन डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेंसर एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन ट्रांसड्यूसर एंड sensor so in the just i will glance uh, for the last uh, session transducers they which are called gauges or signal generators or pickups and we define transducer as an electric device that converts energy from one form to another so there will be uh, transducer elements may be elastic member mass sensing element thermal detector or hydro pneumatic elements elastic members example proving ring elastic torsion springs bowden tube mass sensing elements accelerometers vibration pickups manometers thermal detectors various thermal detectors we discussed like thermometer biometric thermometer spirometer thermocouples so last one was hydropneumatic sensor where the uh, the common uh, hydropneumatic sensors like a simple flow hydrometer the dynamic on our orifice venturi spider two point wax okay so where is uh, the definition and the elements uh, that act as a transducer uh, we discussed in the last session so today we will move to the classification of transducers so there are various types of classification we can make based on the structure or based on the a function or based on the uh, physical quantities as input so broadly we can say mechanical transducers and electrical transducers so mechanical transducers here transducers that convert physical quantities into mechanical ones now for example manometer so if uh, you give input force or the pressure Uh, you can uh, measure it uh, directly uh, in the scale so this is a mechanical transducer electrical transducer these transducers uh, are that convert physical quantities into electrical quantities physical quantities into electrical quantities examples thermocouple that change the temperature difference into a small voltage lvdt so it is used to measure displacement so both uh, these type of electrical transducers is, uh, you might have used in the uh, metrology lab one more uh, classification based on the electrical principles so almost uh, we can uh, classify the transducer based on the electrical principle only because uh, most of the transducers are of a uh, uh, are based on the electrical principle only so on the electrical based on the electrical principle there may be variable resistance type variable capacitance type variable inductance type or the voltage divider type and voltage generating type variable resistance type so this type of transducers examples are strain gauges pressure gauges thermistors rtd that is a resistance temperature detector or photoconductive cell so here there will be a sliding contact so based on the input it, uh, you may get the output uh, as uh, signals like strain gauge pressure gauge uh, thermistor temperature uh, rtd so input is uh, variation in the resistance so this type of uh, transducers you can say as uh, electrical based transducers then variable capacitance type examples capacitor microphone pressure gauge director gauge here the main thing is the structure of this uh, transducer where the two 
parallel metal plates maintain the distance between the two plates in between them a dielectric medium like air can be filled so this is uh, this type we can say variable capacitance type then voltage divider type so pressure actuated voltage divider or potentiometer position sensor potentiometer position sensor so in voltage divider it is used to convert varying voltage into a useful one so for example potentiometer when there is a potential difference uh, it is measured hmm, and uh, can be shown in the potentiometer then voltage generating type thermocouple for example sir thermocouple piezoelectric photovoltaic cell and rotational motion tachometer in this type of uh, transducer they develop their own voltage or self uh, generating voltage this can also be called as active transducers the last one in electrical principle are variable inductance type so in inductance there is a variation the example is uh, lbdt which we have used in uh, metrology lab then reluctance pickup then uh, eddy current gauge so related to inductance if there is a variation in the related to inductance they are variable induct inductance type of transducers one more broad classification we can say active transducers and passive tra passive transducers active transducers are self generating type of transducers or self generating uh, uh, the self voltage generating that is their transducers which develop their output in the form of electrical voltage or current without any auxiliary source normally such transducers give very small output therefore use of amplifier becomes essential examples are thermocouple piezoelectric and photovoltaic cell then passive transducers transducers in which electrical parameters like uh, resistance inductance or capacitance changes with the change in the input signal are called passive transducers these transducers require external power source for energy conversion in such transducers electrical parameters like resistance inductance or capacitance causes a uh, change in voltage current or frequency of the external power source for example resistive capac capacitive inductive transducers other examples are rtd that is res uh, resistance temperature detector thermistor dt photo emission cell one more classification we said generally analog and digital type where in analog they convert the input into analog output into continuous uh, function of time this like analog watch and digital watch digital they convert it into electrical they convert input into electrical output in the form of pulse then let's see the difference between the sensor and transducer before that uh, let's know what is the sensor sensors sensor the term sensor is used for an element which generates a signal which is proportional to the quantity being measured so here uh, the output will be the proportional to the change in the input so input is in the form of physical things so this is called sensor but whereas transducer it is sensor plus signal conditioning element so input are signals so some conditioning is done with the signals along with the sensor then it becomes a transducers these are elements when subjected to physical change experience a related change so you can see here sensor signal conditioning 
measuring quantity is input and it, it gives a meaningful information but the uh, while from sensor to signal conditioning the information we get here may or may not be meaningful sometimes it's a, just a reaction difference between sensor and transducer Uh, difference based on definition components and function and uh, examples sensor it senses the physical changes occur in the surrounding and convert it into a readable quantity whereas the transducer it's a device which when actuates transforms the energy from one form to another so it transforms energy from one form to another it is called transducer but in sensor it uh, converts the input into a readable quantity component sensor itself is a component here whereas in transducer sensor plus signal conditioning because input will be signals so that makes the transducer function sensor it detects the changes and induces the corresponding electrical signals whereas transducer it converts one form of energy into another one so just conversion of energy from one form to another takes place it's called a transducer but detecting the changes and inducing the corresponding change in the form of output is called sensor examples of a sensor proximity sensor magnetic sensor accelerometer sensor light sensor barometer gyroscope etc examples of thermistor transducer thermistor potentiometer thermocouple so by example we can say uh, the sensors uh, majorly they sense or detect the changes in the input and gives the related changes in the input to the output in a readable form but whereas transducer just they take input signals as they are and they convert them into the output in the form of signals so this uh, completes today's session uh, any qu queries or uh, questions let me know in the afternoon thank you